So it's that time of year again. This year I thought I'd make my own wrapping paper. So I've been doing some urban sketching over winter. It's got a Christmas pudding. It's got the nutcracker. Winter holly. Candy cane. Paper angel. And the winter horse. So I'm just going to grab all those elements together, lay them all out into a repeating pattern. So I've always made my repeat patterns in Photoshop. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is how I've always done it. So create a, let's create a new document. I tend to go with a square artboard just to make it easier later on. Add in your artwork. I'm going to use these Christmas designs from the urban sketching and just start laying it out. Just make sure to keep your artwork in the square and not off the artboard. To make it a seamless pattern, we want to push everything to the edge. To do that, we need to convert your artwork layers to a smart object. And then go to filter, other, offset. You need to remember what your canvas size was So you have that. That way it distributes the design evenly across the four corners and then just start filling the empty space. So we've done our square, now we need to tile it. If we go to edit, define pattern, in a new document, we'll go with A4 because if you're using a home printer, most home printers print that size. Go to layer, new fill layer, and then pattern. Okay. Then on the drop down, choose the pattern we've just created. So here you can play around with the scale or the angle. Now we've got a repeat pattern. Now you can do this just using photo paper and print it out at home with your home inkjet printer. I really wanted a roll of wrapping paper like you would get in a store. So I've sent my design off to Mr. Print where you can get custom wrapping paper. And this is the result. It's quite really nice. What do you think? to level up my Christmas game this year. So now they're all wrapped, what do you think of the final result? So let me know if you like these types of projects. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and let's have a look at the final shots.